Manchester United in all black, but not in mourning just yet. They still wear the crown. Arsenal may be odds on favourites to remove it, but they are still the challengers. Henri losing out to Jemba Jemba. How Arsenal would love to fell the champions with a knockout blow of their own. How United would love to put a dent in the Arsenal record. It's personal. Jemba Jemba preferred to Nicky Butt and Phil Neville in the Manchester United midfield. Paul Phil's trying to get between Toure and Campbell and was able to get a shot away. And the expression on his face suggests that that was a, a better chance than he first realised. Ah, memories. Henri. Young Berg, flag stayed down. Really good challenge by Wes Brown. Caught up with Young Berg, who just stole the march on the Manchester United rear guard, given away tamely by Scholes, who now gets it back. This is Henri, and Young Berg once more. And this time he's wrong for it, Sylvester, but he couldn't beat Carroll at the near post. Youngberg had Reyes in the middle, he had Vieira to pull it back to. Tested Roy Carroll instead. Arsenal and Manchester United will remain interests in his professional life, but not rivals. Fletcher. Jemba Jemba. Fletcher able to pick a cross. And Toure had to deal with it. It draw before him. And Lehman has conceded a rather cheap corner kick. Fletcher's corner. All the way back to Jemba Jemba. Well, he shot away eventually, and Lehman had to make a very smart save. Good reactions that by Jens Lehmann. Eric Jemba Jemba's shot was delayed, but when it arrived, it came through a crowd. Vieira. Reyes. Robert Brown. It's Jose Reyes. Didn't really test Carroll as he might have done. Fed by Patrick Vieira. Wes Brown looking over his shoulder, lost Reyes momentarily. But the angle was maybe just a touch wider than he would have wanted. A managerial rivalry is added to the theatre of this very real club rivalry between the two standard bearers in the English game. Both have relished, almost revelled in the verbal jousting of the last few years. Not won them their trophies, but uh, they've each scored the odd point here and there. Fletcher losing out to Edu. Crashing challenge from Brown, but this is Reyes. Pires wide of him, it's Henri! And the only mystery when he lets fly is when he misses. And it was deflected for a corner. Pires takes. Campbell was at the top of the pile. And then a goal kick has been given. Luis Sahar is amongst the Manchester United substitutes. Alec Ferguson didn't feel that he was fit enough to play a whole game. Never. Van Nistelrooy. Fletcher. Jemba Jemba. Fichy did well. Perez has lost out. Never forcing the issue on the edge of the box from going on and going down. Big Manchester United penalty appeals. Pass Clichy. Oh, it's difficult to see who caught him, if anybody. Certainly not a strong case for a penalty. No yellow card for, for Neville, just no penalty. Vieira catching Van Nistelrooy. I think he did get some of the ball. Got some of Van Nistelrooy too. 
Graham Cole has not got a friend in this ground. Plenty going on. Alec Ferguson and Arsene Wenger continuing their own rivalry on the touchline. Alan Wiley, the fourth official, with the unenviable task of coming between those two. Jumped in a bit there, Vieira. Certainly got his foot on top of the ball. But inevitably knocked Van Nistelrooy off it. Fletcher. Trying to slip it to Keane. Kishu came between them. This is Pires. Now Edu. Brown getting it back from Manchester United. Fletcher. Giggs. Sliding across the top of the surface and tucking it into Scholes who missed his kick. Well, is there another player in English football that you would want in that situation? Cleanest, crispest striker of a ball you could ever hope to see. And he knocked his lines. O'Shea. Scholes. Jemba Jemba. Scholes has gone on, he's gone away from Edu, it's Paul Scholes, charged down by Toure, Van Nitteroy, almost another opportunity for Scholes, Giggs had all kinds of space during that. Fletcher has won it back for Manchester United from Reyes. Campbell in the way. Reyes has lost it again, this time to Keane. Vieira though, now Youngberg. Three others in the break for Arsenal. One of them, Thierry Henry, beautifully found by Youngberg. Henry, was he held there by Sylvester? The referee fell not. You see what Roy Carroll feels about it. Well, his change of direction certainly seemed to Fox Sylvester. And he held out his hand, but was there enough contact, really, to bring about that fall from Henri? It was the decision that the referee had to reach. And he found against Thierry Henry. Giggs. King has made a forward run. There is halted Giggs. Spell to O'Shea. And he did well then. Stopped by Lawrence Tripp. Giggs. Back to Skulls. Hit and hope. It's come for Keane! He wasn't far away. It's not fantasy football. It's hard not life, reality football, difficult to create chances, difficult to referee, impossible to separate Arsenal and Manchester United. Goalers at the break at Highbury. Late 29, 122, drawn seven, lost none. Arsenal have already cornered the market in uh, Premiership records, 29 games and beat from the start of the season equals the mark of Leeds in 1974 and Liverpool in 1988 and they extend it Keane up above Vieira two men who were almost tailor-made for occasions such as this Jemba Jemba Henri going down Leeds actually lost a 2-0 lead at Stoke in their 30th match, beaten by a goal from the current Wrexham manager, Dennis Smith. Liverpool lost at Everton eventually. Edu. Space made for Lauren. Vieira with the support. Pushed in towards Reyes. Never with the defending.
cross in two. It's needed a gamble on the near post. Only really skulls inside the box. Kicks eventually joined him, but not in the vicinity of the cross. to Reyes. Henri, well struck. Very, very well struck. It is another memorable goal from Thierry Henri. No occasion is too big for him. Six times he has scored against Manchester United in their last four Premiership visits to Highbury. Not quite as spectacular as his volleyed winner here three seasons ago. But a shot struck with abandon. Down the centre of the goal, swinging. But Roy Carroll, who maybe didn't have the clearest view, will wonder whether he might have reached it. But the slow motion does not do justice to the sheer power and surprise of Audrey's effort. And again, he is the man who's broken the deadlock. is Giggs taking on Campbell and scampering away from him now what's the referee given here nothing Manchester United can't believe the decision no doubt the Giggs had the beating of Campbell there difficult to know why he would go to ground unless he was touched This is the view that the referee had at the speed that it happened. And Giggs was clear, he had a chance to get his head up across. The smaller clubs always say the bigger clubs get the decisions. Manchester United have been awarded one penalty since October the 4th, and that was in an FA Cup tie at Northampton, which they missed. There's one Premiership penalty awarded to Manchester United since Van Nistelrooy's miss against Arsenal at Old Trafford back in September. The Manchester United manager felt that Louis Sahar's continuing Achilles problem meant that he couldn't start with him today. But he'll bring him on now for more than half an hour in place of Eric Jemba Jemba. He can't play in the cup tie next weekend. Pires. Now Youngberg in towards Pires. Reyes! Glory seeking football from Arsenal. They do combine so beautifully. Pires just quick in the pace. Might just have been beyond the last defender when Youngberg lifted it in. But neither he nor Reyes could make contact anyway. Glorious. Very Neville steaming up with his shoulder. And having made that run, he deserved better than the pass from Fletcher. And Manchester United's right flank is hopelessly exposed now. And Pires and Clichy are streaming forward. Pires looking to feed it through to Reyes. He might still. This is Jose Reyes. Corner kick given. Roy Carroll claiming it should be a goal kick. I'm not sure he got to the ball at all, actually. As Reyes forced it in, passed him. Maybe he just made some contact. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he made the contact with Reyes' standing foot. That's another penalty claim, you know. Perez takes. Forced away by Keane. Here's Reyes. Now Henri. Trying his luck again from long range. And who blocked it? Freddie Youngberg. The sting in the morning. And he described Arsenal as a powerful, aggressive, athletic team. Prior to the match, a bell compliment. Keane's header on. This is Giggs. Lehman got a hand to it. Toure got his head to it. And Arsenal just about survived. 
last ditch defending and there may be some more to do Solskjaer short to key on the gun of Solskjaer oh and West Brown couldn't control the header it came to him at such a velocity driven in by Solskjaer and it was upon Brown before he knew it Neville down to Solskjaer. <laughs> Robert Pires has had a very, very energetic game for Arsenal. We'll give way to Dennis Bergkamp for the closing five minutes. deserved a pause for Pires he gives way to the man who was named after the family hero one Dennis Law Van Nistelrooy to Skulls a bit of space here for Solskjaer got it into Van Nistelrooy it's in back to half Manchester United on terms Louis Sahar scores from the substitutes bench. His first goal against Arsenal. And a beautifully constructed goal it was too. Solskjaer free on the right-hand side. Goodness knows how Van Nitteroy failed to connect. But Sahar did. And Manchester United have equalised inside the last five minutes. Lauren, Edu, Henri, he's dug out a shot somehow, and somehow Roy Carroll has kept it out. Complete surprise element about the effort from Henri, who was facing one way and then suddenly facing the other. His corner should. Berto is there and unable to control the header. Louis Sahar, who is a French junior international with Thierry Henry, who cannot play in the FA Cup semi-final next weekend. Scoring the equalising goal from the cross of another substitute, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Sahar is the target, and he wins it in the air. Van Nistelrooy helped on to Ryan Giggs. Chip back into Van Nistelrooy. What an opportunity. Not quite the opportunity that he had to beat Arsenal back at Old Trafford in September. But a good chance by his standards, and he knows it. That's certainly the closest that Arsenal have come to defeat when Van Nistelrooy placed the ball on the penalty spot that day. This is Henri. Slip beautifully into Lauren. Saved by Caron, headed wide by Henri. Henri wanted it cut back to Lauren. We've still got some more time to play. Lauren was in a wonderful position. Henri's header flew just wide. That's when he wanted the return pass. He got it in a manner of speaking. I think part of his frustration is with himself. This is Henri. He's found across, but Keane has cut it out. Nothing to separate them on the day. Still 12 points between them in the Premiership table. The defending champions have only been able to slow Arsenal's charge to relieve them of their title. Louis Sahar cancelling out the extravagant swing of Thierry Henry's right foot. Two more Arsenal entries in the record books. 30 league games unbeaten, the longest sequence from the start of the season, the longest within a top-flight season.
The run of nine straight Premiership wins ends here, but that's for the Anoraks, for the aristocrats of the English and maybe the European game. A seven-point lead now and two epic cup ties ahead. The Arsenal Invincibles still have a treble chance. It's 1-1 at Highbury. Hey, it's a penalty. You know it is.